hey my beauties welcome back to my channel today i'll be making a closure wig for you guys and i purchased this a while back from i think amazon and it is a closure wig i'll be making today everything is eight inches in length the bundles and the closure now it is 10a water wave malaysian hair and this is i think the company this is what i got in the bag so i just got the bundles and this card in the bag this piece is called woman in praise it is by the artist fernand it is a 40 by 30 and if you would like to purchase it all the information will be linked in the description box below What you would need is a mesh dome cap, needle and thread. I have a 22 inch circumference head, so I'll be using a 22 inch wig block from GEX. That's the back, this is the front. So you just put the wig cap on, and then I'm going to stretch it all the way down. So now I'm pinning it because I'm stretching the wig cap out so you will also need um, t-pins and a uh, scissors I use t-pins to secure my wig cap down So guys, you see those three lines? This is what I use as a guideline to, uh, for the placement of my closure. So there are three partings in it. However, um, I use the middle parting to put on the middle threading. And then I use the edges of the closure to line up with the two um, threading on each side. So once you get the front part secured, then you're going to take another T-pin and stretch the back because we want it to lay flat as possible. So as you can see, I stretch one side and I'm going over the other side and stretching it so that it is flat see there right so you see that's what i was telling you about i use the middle parting to as a guideline so it's straight so i'm now putting the hair in a slight ball or ponytail so that i can stitch the closure to the wig cap I'm just securing it with a bobby pin. You can use an elastic band. It doesn't matter. As long as it's out the way. So this is what I was telling you about. It's flat. So this is where we're going to be stitching. So for this, I won't be going through the band off the wig cap, but I'll be going through the closure. So I go through the edge of the closure and go through the mesh part of the cap, not the band, because we still want that elasticity, the stretch in the band so that it is it fits securely and firm on our heads. I'll also, I'm not, depending on the fit, I'll put an elastic band, but I don't think I'll be putting it in for this one. So, I think I, they call this one the blanket stitch. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. So, we go through the closure, through the mesh, and then we, we pull tight to secure. 
don't pull too tight because we don't want any bulges and we go right around for this <laughs> Now we're at the end. So what I do is I go through the closure again, through the um, the mesh part of the cap, and then I wrap the thread around the needle around two to three times to knot it so that it's secured and that the thread won't um, unravel. And then I cut it so next we're gonna do guidelines so I like to start at the edge of the wig cap and um, sew my weft there and each line is an inch apart because I double the first two tracks of my my wig so that's how that's looking and this is the hair and now I'm going to start sewing. So what I do is I go through both because um, I'm doubling it. So I go through the wefts of the hair with a needle and I pull it through. Then I go on the wig cap and go through the mesh. And I do that up, um, for the entire bottom section of um, my stitching. So I go through the weft, through the mesh, through the weft, through the mesh. And I do this for the entire first one um, of it because the first um, row and the second row, I double. So that's what I do. to the last part of the stitching so we are going to cut the weft yes I said it cut we want it to be as flat as possible so we cut it and then we stitch it and remember what I said earlier we go through the mesh through the weft and then we wrap up the thread around the needle about two to three times and it's going to be well secured ain't going nowhere
so after I do the two first rows this is where I single it so I'm just gonna follow the lines that I drew and um, continue so this is where I'm showing you I have to um, we are going to draw a line on the closure and this is where we're going to stitch the last um, weft. So those lines that you see on the bottom, this is where I changed my mind. So this is my new markings. It's still one inch apart, but I did new markings. After drawing all these lines, this is where we going to stitch on each line. So remember, we go, when we start, we start, um, go through the weft, through the mesh, and then we don't stitch um, through the weft again for the singles. We go under the weft. You will see in just a moment. See, we go under the weft. Same lines, but go under the weft. I'm sorry if you hear noise in my background. My son is playing and he's making a mess. So my apologies. So through the mesh, under the weft. Through the mesh, under the weft. And we do this for all. So we only go through the weft at the beginning and the end of our um, of our row. So you can see we're starting and we're going through the mesh through the weft and pull securely so I'm gonna come back when we're gonna do the closure part so continue watching Now this is the part you have to pay attention to. We will be going through the closure, the edge of the closure, and through the weft. We have to make sure that this last weft is as close as possible to the closure. Because we don't want anything showing, we don't want if we flip our hair, um, there is a gap between the closure and the wefts. So that's why we are, I'm gonna say marrying. 
you know, when two people come together and they go in front of a pastor or just of a peace or whatever, and they come together and they get married, that's what we're doing. We get them married. <laughs> Guys, don't pay me no mind. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to see through the closure, through the left, and we pull. So guys, remember what I said to you? When we're ending, we go through the left and then we wrap the thread around it a few times and we cut our wefts after we're done. So for this part, we're going to cut the thread at the needle and we're going to make a knot on the thread. So now that all that's done, we, t we remove the wig from the, um, the wig block and then we cut carefully. Guys, you have to be careful because we don't want to cut too close to the thread because it will unravel. So we're going to cut um, where the closure is. We're going to cut in the middle of that so that the closure is showing. So see, I'm carefully doing it, not going too close to the thread. So now this is what the wig look like when it's on. See, it fits me properly and it's shoulder length. So I'm just going to show you the three partings that it has. So this is a middle parting. And then it has two side parts. So whichever side you want the parting to be, it is very versatile. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope this video was very helpful to you. All the specs for the hair will be linked in the description box below along with all my socials. Thanks again my beauties for watching. Bye guys!